Welcome to the video on maintaining your account health in Seller Central. In this video, we will provide an overview of the areas which impact your account health and how to monitor them. Let's get started. On your Seller Central homepage, hover over the Performance tab and click on Account Health. Account Health summarizes how well you're adhering to Amazon performance metrics. There are three components to watch. Customer service performance, policy compliance, and delivery performance. Customer service performance is based on order defect rate. The three key factors that determine this rate are negative feedback, A to Z guarantee claims, and chargeback claims. Negative feedback is when a buyer leaves a review of two or less stars about your product. An A to Z guarantee claims means a dispute between seller and a buyer is unresolved and the buyer reaches out to Amazon for resolution. You can avoid negative feedback and A to Z claims by focusing on the most common reasons customers react negatively. Reason 1. Not responding to messages within 24 hours. Use the buyer-seller messaging tool to address customer concerns and messages quickly. Here's a great tip. Download the Seller app called Amazon Seller to receive and respond to the messages when you are away from your primary workstation. Reason 2. Handling returns. How you handle a return can make all the difference in the type of reviews buyers post, or whether a buyer feels the need to escalate a dispute to an A to Z claim. Always put yourself in your customer's shoes and treat them just like you want to be treated when you experience a problem with an order. Understanding return policies is a great strategy for a healthy account. Just type return policies in the Seller Central search bar. Another way Amazon supports sellers is by handling chargebacks. Amazon is responsible for the merchant transaction. To avoid chargebacks, always ship products to the verified address on the order and use a shipping carrier that provides integrated tracking with Amazon. Following these steps will help defend the chargeback. The next section of the Account Health Dashboard is called Policy Compliance. Policy Compliance is designed to bring seller awareness to intellectual property issues, authenticity concerns, product conditions and other policy violations. Sellers are responsible for knowing and understanding the intellectual property laws governing the products they intend to sell. Product-related complaints are situations where customers have concerns about the orders they have received. It's important to follow the appeals process if you had items removed from the sales catalogue. Maintain invoices from a valid source of supply and all applicable safety compliance documents to increase the likelihood of reinstatement. We advise sellers to monitor policy compliance section to address any specific compliance areas of the account health dashboard. Not addressing these issues can lead to warning or removal of selling privileges for Amazon. Lastly, let's understand why shipping performance is important for account health. If you decide to use merchant fulfillment for orders, keep your late dispatch rate under 4%, pre-fulfillment cancel rate under 2.5%, and valid tracking rate over 95%. However, if you decide to use 100% FBA service, then these metrics will not impact your account. Now, let's learn about these terms in detail. The late dispatch rate represents orders confirmed after the expected ship date as a percentage of total orders. When shipping orders on your own, you are expected to confirm shipment of a product within the specified date range on the order. If you confirm shipment outside the specified date range, your order is considered as late dispatch. Avoiding pre-fulfillment cancellation rate is another strategy for keeping your account healthy. This rate reflects seller cancelled orders, represented as a percentage of total orders during a given seven-day time period. Continuously monitoring and updating available inventory and making sure the correct selling price has been updated is a key to a low cancellation rate. Also, requested cancellations by the buyers do not count against sellers. Amazon buyers use tracking numbers to track orders and expected arrival dates. The valid tracking rate, VTR, 
is a performance metrics that reflects these delivery and arrival expectations. Your on-time delivery rate is all shipments delivered by their estimated delivery date as a percentage of total tracked shipments. We consider OTDR performance when determining which transit times you are eligible to set, which may enable you to promise faster delivery times and improve your conversion. We recommend that sellers maintain an OTDR greater than 97% in order to provide a good customer experience. To help with valid tracking rate performance, choose a carrier that reports tracking information to Amazon. You can either leverage Amazon's buying shipping services by clicking Buy Shipping on your orders, or find a list of carriers by typing Valid Tracking Rate FAQ in the search bar on Seller Central. Buyers tell us that receiving orders on time and being able to track packages are important contributors to overall satisfaction with orders from Amazon. Happy buyers are more prone to leave positive seller feedback. Amazon will ask buyers to review your services and provide feedback on the products you sell. In order to stay updated with the notifications sent by the seller performance team, visit Performance Notifications under the Performance tab. Review the notifications here for important alerts that might affect your account health. For any concerns regarding account health, please respond to the notification directly. This wraps up our video on how to maintain your account health. Thank you and happy selling on Amazon.